Well, I'm uh, Dr. Romer Makalinao. I'm the Executive Director of Weekly Bible Translators Philippines and uh, Program Director for the Language and Culture Institute. Okay. The LCI or the Language and Culture Institute is an intentional effort to design a program that would address uh, Bibleists unengaged and unreached people groups of the world. Because based on existing training programs, we do not have the kind of program that would have a high, high impact in uh, reaching Bibleists unengaged and unreached people groups. By that I mean direct engagement of unreached people groups in evangelism, in church planting, and uh, Bible translation. And uh, using oral strategies to reach out to uh, oral cultures and oral learners. Because what we have today, a majority of unreached people groups are really oral learners. And through the Language and Culture Institute, or the LCI, we have developed a program that would specifically address oral learners, equipping uh, workers, we call them language-based church planting, equipping them with oral strategies and basics of linguistics and church planting. The Language and Culture Institute would last for about six months. We're looking at four months village life here in Bagabag, and then the last two months there will be a deployment, local deployment. We're looking at deployment among our Kalanguya language community, several Kalanguya, uh, Ifugao, uh, uh, Paranan, among the Agta. Uh, we have several language communities as our initial field deployment. Two months hands-on experience and af after that uh, they will be deployed overseas. So we're looking at six months. I believe it is a dream of a lot of people who were praying for a program like this. And we've heard some of those people who are participating in the program. And so the dream is for Filipinos to be involved in God's global harvest. The end time harvest of reaching the unreached through oral strategies and Bible translation and planting of churches. My dream is to see Filipinos become what we believe as uh, having a prophetic destiny of being an evangelist to the nations, a blessing to the nations. And I believe in my heart that uh, it is our time. And with this program, the Language and Culture Institute, we will be able to equip Filipinos to go to the last, the least, and the lost and share with them the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to be able to hear and read and see the Word of God in their heart language and their culture preserved and their language preserved. Well, being the program director, we, we just uh, completed the first phase of the program and that is the uh, curriculum workshop, you know, curriculum development workshop and we've had participants from uh, different sectors of society, from linguists to church planters to health workers and even the youth you know, and uh, our own people with Wicklow Philippines participating. And so my role really is to see that the program is completed in terms of its design and at the same time its administration and the first batch of uh, uh, language and culture workers to be trained by April of 2013. Uh, our critical goals are for the month of January is uh, the starting of recruitment. You know, we are accepting uh, candidates. There will be a stringent uh, recruitment procedure by our uh, recruitment director, recruitment coordinator, uh, Pastor Herbie Carmona, our partner from the Church Planters League. And then we have our uh, campus uh, director or coordinator in the person of uh, Dalmas Binwag who will be responsible in seeing the, the village life of our students. Uh, we're aiming at 20 students, 20 pre-qualified students who went through a rigorous screening process so that at the end of the training 
they will be deployed at least before the end of 2013. And then classes begin April of 2013. Oh. And so we're, we're praying and hoping that we will have partners, people praying for the program, people praying for recruits, churches participating in terms of adopting uh, the language and culture workers so that when they are trained, there will be churches praying for them and supporting them and seeing churches uh, own the, the workers when they are deployed you know, to extend the lifeline, so to speak. So they are not alone. There are churches undergirding their work so that at the end of two to three years of their deployment, we would see Bible-less, unengaged, unreached people groups be won to Christ, churches planted, oral Bible stories disseminated in the language communities, and the beginning of Bible translation be done in that language community. It is our time to be able to share the gospel among people that are not Filipinos. We believe in the prophetic destiny of the Filipino being an evangelist to the nations. And that means nations. And through the LCI, we challenge the global Filipino church to partner with us and raise a new breed of workers that would go out to reach out and to evangelize, not fellow Filipinos, but different nations, seeing churches planted in those Bibleist, unreached, and unengaged people groups, start the work started by Filipinos, a blessing to the nations.